Hey there, I'm Rob Nelson, principal, Plant High School. Best got start high school here on Himes Avenue. And now for our prestigious excellence, our amazing acceptance rates, and above all, our strength of unity. What we do here is not taken lightly. For the past four years, we've strained tirelessly just to get you guys through through everything. Paperwork, assessments, a couple problems opening doors. I'm not gonna talk over y'all. We're here to take you back on a trip down memory lane as we do go through a nice tour of Plant High School with yours truly, Robert Nelson. No Big Macs through these golden arches, only big brains. You're standing now on the glorious green turf where the Plant Panthers rest their pride and joy in the very heart of souls. In. This is a football field. Where boys become men and girls become women, all alike, we are joined here through unity. See this? This is Kentucky Bluegrass, Astro style. <sighs> smells like gardenias. You there, with the black and blue hair. Have you never seen this field before? Look at this beautiful field! Look at it! That's gorgeous! Gorgeous! I love you, Plantai! The field thing, yeah. I don't know, it's gotta happen like once a week, probably now. Just start running, feel enthralled with this burning passion for being the principal of the greatest high school here on Himes Avenue. Now we've all been here before. This is a wonderful cat home. Everybody's taking a turn, especially me, Rob Nelson. Principal Plant High School, Himes Avenue. We're gonna try and go in for a little closer look. Hello! This is your principal, Rob Nelson calling. I have an announcement. You're adorable. Goodbye. When it comes to the whole blue, of this potty high school habitat. There's a couple traditions that we like to actually keep up here. One of which is actually Panther Proud, the biggest, wildest event that we actually have here. It gives everyone here an excuse to go wild and crazy, act like the animal inside, let loose the panther, and truly show their school spirit.
job. It's Keith! Oh, 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 get out there! <laughs> Ecology Club, class of 1863, digging for the Florida aquifer, trying to make fresh water to a nearby village. And all of a sudden, out of the middle of Plant High, spotted this the beautiful pond you see before you today. Years have truly taken its toll on this beautiful wishing well, as you see the pennies at the bottom oxidizing while some still remain shiny. It's on. But we try and keep it as clean as we can here at Plant High because we care. We care. Beautiful, isn't it? We are capacity 550. Just got new carpets in here. This is actually for our drama troupe that we try and keep the best. The walls left and right, you can see the eight idols of our society. We try and really keep them in tip top shape because without them, excellence would never be recognized. Never. Not just our academics and athletes take a lot of pride in here. Plant. While we do love our students, we also take a lot of pride in our staff. Each one of them is handpicked for a special reason, no matter the subject, whether it's math, English, social studies, they're all the best at what they do, and we know that. We just hope that students know that as well. Let's take a look. If I had any advice to give to the senior class, what would it be? So you're saying I might not have advice? That's exactly what I'm saying. Well, if I did have advice, Frank, for someone, say, like you, somebody who um, is leaving the friendly, safe confines of our beloved HB Plant High School and brimming with, with confidence and, and oozing with self-efficacy as you uh, clearly are, I would say be humble, mm. um, be willing to learn, be cautious, you know what I'm saying, Frank? Uh, a lot of times, just a little bit of thinking will save a lot of apologizing and you know paying of fines and I'm not alluding to any illicit behaviors that you may or may not choose to engage in Frank all I'm saying is that don't be in a big rush just because you can do something doesn't necessarily mean that you have to do something uh, goodbye good luck and black and gold still rules oh yeah well First of all, congratulations. I uh, hope you do well in college and uh, my advice to you is to uh, stick to the college parties that uh, you know, coming back and going to the high school parties is probably not that awesome and that uh, you know, they're way, the college parties are way better and you just don't want to be that guy at the uh, high school parties that's in college. The, uh, the uh, mustache has been the most memorable and, and detrimental influence that you guys have had on me. <laughs> are you recording? Yes. You are. <laughs> Thank you. You don't want to say anything? There. Don't be, don't do anything I wouldn't do. My advice to the seniors is enjoy life, embrace it. Um, be effective in everything you do. Go out and have a great time. Enjoy your education um, and have a great life. So what kind of advice would you give to the seniors, Ms. Carly? I don't know. I don't have any big words of wisdom here. <laughs> Always wear clean underwear. The best advice I could give you guys is to work hard in college. Mr. Stay Lasha. in school. It's not very philosophical, but the time will fly by. Those next four years are going to fly by for you guys. Right? Have fun while you're there, work hard, and uh, before you know it, be an old man wondering where the years went by. <laughs> Seniors, never spit into the wind and never eat the yellow snow. All right, so my advice to you guys as seniors is in college, if you get a chance to travel abroad, study abroad, Australia, Europe, whatever, take it. I regret that I didn't. Um, so make sure you can take any chances that you want to. Go to Australia, go to Europe, because as soon as you graduate with that four-year degree, the real world starts, and trust me, it's not as all cracked up as it's you think it is. Lemon, I'm counting on you to save the world, especially those of you who are my economic students. Um, and to all of you, I say, may the benefits of your life be greater than the costs. Thanks. Um, my advice to you is to have 
a wonderful time in college. Go to class, but go to everything else too. Have fun, meet lots of new people. Advice I got for you, just make the most of your time in college. Make sure you get yourself a job while you're in college and uh, do the best you can in school because it's very competitive out there in the, uh, in the workforce. There's about a 40% unemployment rate, so you need to go out there and uh, make, make yourself competitive by, that was the cannon. Make yourself competitive by, uh, by uh, doing the best you can in school and get yourself out there in the workforce as soon as you can. That's it. My advice to the seniors would be to read, read, read any chance you get. Um, edit, edit, edit your writing, and don't forget to call mom, text mom. Enjoy your college years. High school is great, but there's nothing like the college experience. And just remember, if you don't take advantage of what you do in college, you could end up as a high school math teacher. <coughs> you're going to have a great time at college, but that's not what you're there for. I've been to college, I've been to USF, seen undergraduates fresh out of high school and they know nothing. Get yourself organized first with your academics and then as soon as you've done that then you can have a good time. Because otherwise you're going to be there for six or seven years trying to graduate and regretting your first two years, so don't do that. Other than that, <coughs> take the summer off, have a good time at college, okay? Uh, what I remember for 2011 is, is this class is my first four, full four years through the principalship. Uh, uh, 2011 is filled with a great group of students who is very, uh, a whole lot of school spirit, a very funny group. Uh, obviously, I don't have one favorite experience. I guess just Monday when you guys were laughing at me because the microphone was broken. I think I remember that pretty good and will remember that from years to come since you guys, all 500 of you, thought it was so funny to laugh at the one principal, the poor, short little white man, young man that's running one of the best high schools in America and everybody just kept laughing. But uh, uh, I love the class of 2011. I wish you good luck. Uh, come back. Obviously alumni come back all the time. I expect to hire some of you hopefully back as educators in four years and I wish you the best of luck uh, in the future. You guys, all right, always keep this in your refrigerator. Bacon, it doesn't have to be kosher, just any old bacon, something greasy more importantly. Eggs, um, bread, that doesn't have to be refrigerated though. You need to eat something before you go out. That's most important. Uh, Gatorade, if I haven't said that one already. Usually the red flavor is the best. Um, actually don't drink the red flavor because if you throw up you're going to think you're bleeding inside and that's not a good sign. Do blue. Um, uh, and aspirin. And again, that doesn't need to be refrigerated either. All right, But that's my advice for the senior class going off to college and good luck to you guys. Um, don't take eight in the morning classes on Friday. That's Never. a disaster. I don't even think they offer those. No, um, only that. take one course on Friday because you want to rest up for the big weekend. Oh, Sleep in, wear pajamas, two class, Starbucks coffee, wear a hat and sunglasses. Those are freedoms that you don't have in high school. And you have to have little bunny shoes. Yeah. <laughs> you have to have little bunny shoes. Or wear the onesies, right? Yeah. Or to, to get the a onesies, snuggie. yeah, with a yeah. little flap in the back. <laughs> you got to have that. Of course, you guys probably need a flap in the front, too. Or... <laughs> but most importantly, no 8 in the morning classes. Ever. Those are horrible. Those are for freshmen, yeah. which I guess you will be freshmen. <laughs> Some of them will. Yeah. First, they have to graduate. Lots of coffee, stay up late and study. Always yeah. procrastinate, but get your work done most of all. Yeah. Don't drink and drive. So just be safe. Any other tips for you? Or not. <laughs> See, he's a conservative guy. <laughs> Hi, <laughs> Salopas, what would you do? How was your freshman year like? Freshman year for what? <laughs> College. Which freshman year? The first one. <laughs> I had a couple. <laughs> the first one, I got thrown out of USF because I rode my motorcycle into the elevator. I had USF in your freshman year. You're wild, man. How the fuck you I was a but I was the second one. At Fontana Hall. I was at Fontana Hall. I drove into the elevator, went up to the 13th floor. Rode back and forth, back and forth. They came after me. I went out the fire escape, down the Crazy. fire escape. Yeah, it was pretty rough. You could have died. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, you don't really care about much. Of your yeah. No, it was pretty cool. <laughs> Except I couldn't go to school for a semester because <laughs> everybody ratted me out because I smoked the carpet. <laughs> carpet just went. Ah, had this little tire mark right down the middle. It was like a dead giveaway. Who did that? Love that. My room smells like burned rubber. I didn't know what that meant. I thought they were doing something illicit in the room.